So this pullback that we're seeing right now in GBP, okay, it's definitely worth obviously keep an eye on. This pullback, this technical correction, um, is subject to being sold. Okay, it remains vulnerable. So what new risks are there on the horizon now? We know, right, we know Brexit. So the bank is going to be thinking that. So are we going to get potentially a, you know, a bit of pessimism or caution from the central bank at this rate decision? Most likely. We had it before, like um, when Britain first left the EU, um, the Bank of England, they actually took action and cut rates um, on the back of that to accommodate for, you know, this potential lull that was going to be caused in the economy. Um, and, you know, where is I going to go at that point? So, yeah, it's the central bank's job to um, anticipate things that risks to the economy. So this is a risk anyway, is my point. So this is a big risk. So maybe at the, the, the decision tomorrow, we look at the, the statement and they express caution around Brexit. If they do, um, and then markets will start thinking, OK, if you're worried about this, you're going to be taking action soon, most likely. It's a reading between the lines. The central bank will never explicitly say, we're going to cut rates next month or our next decision. No, they, will ne they won't do that. They will position the market, get the market ready by using certain language, um, certain if their forecasts are lower, as I explained, or they, pres they highlight risks to the economy, um, then you know, okay, these guys are positioning to take some more action. With that being said, if tomorrow they do express concerns about Brexit, um, then I believe that could be a, another added uh, confluence, a fundamental confluence for a uh, downside, right, for GDP. You know, for me, you know, I love my flags. What have we got here? You know, so we broke out of this market structure. We've retested that. We've consolidated. We've formed the flag. I know Jerome Powell's already positioned the market um, with this dovish tone. Is there room for this to now extend to the upside? You know, and then last week as well, what, what, one of my final points here, let's just explain this is net dollar short positions trimmed for the second week straight. So this is according to CFTC data. The CFTC data picks up on, you know, market participants, what they are in terms of, you know, how many contracts in the futures market are people short a currency or long a currency, whatever the case may be. And the net dollar positions were trimmed. So people trimmed their shorts for dollar for the second week running.